Most of the year, he's behind the scenes, brain that keeps 7 News on air. But when spooky season rolls around, our chief engineer, Brad Stanford, pulls out an entirely different set of gear. He and his wife have been in search of spirits for decades. And 7 News anchor Catherine Guyon shows us some of the scariest sights that they've captured. You almost never see anything when you're there. You take the pictures, you take the video, you look at the meters to see what you get, and then when you get back home, unload all that into the computer, and then watch it, and that's when you catch them. With an equipment arsenal of thermal imaging sensors, infrared, PKE meters, cameras, and more, Brad Stanford and his wife go ghost hunting multiple times a year. One of their favorite spots, and the place where it all started hiking down a trail, is Gettysburg. So we get to the first turn in the Serpentine Trail, and I told my wife, so let's shut the light off and just, just have a look. But at first, nothing. Shut the light off, and this time she says, do you see that? And there was something in the woods. Then, farther down the trail, their first encounter. Turned the light off, and whatever this was, which had a perfect outline of a soldier, was about 10 foot away from us in the woods. My wife grabs the flashlight and takes off running to the car and leaves me there. That accidental sighting started a 20-year love of the paranormal, and they even searched for the spirits staying in some of the most haunted hotels. The light went out, and it was, it was two stand lights beside the bed. The light went out, and I looked down, and, and the, uh, the plug was out of the wall. And I'm like, okay, well, being an engineer, I'm like, uh-oh, there's something wrong here. So I said something to the lady uh, at the inn about, hey, you need to maybe have your receptacles checked. And she said, why? And I said, well, the, the plugs kept coming out of the wall. She, no, no, no. No, that's the little spirit uh, child that runs around here and, and is very mischievous. Brad says it takes patience and you won't see something every time. But when you do, it makes for spine chilling thrills. A couple weeks later, I'm looking at it and there is from here up behind the stone wall the perfect image of a soldier. Reporting in Wheeling, I'm Catherine Guyon working for you. Brad says that Gettysburg is his favorite place, not just because of the haunts. He also likes the Civil War history that's there as well. And there are still some paranormal phenomenon that he hopes to capture. And we would like to take a moment to congratulate our Band of the Week winner, 